Thank you guys for clicking on the video. I am Sully, and today, fellas, we have our amateur defensive build, and I'm not using any uh, boost from the hockey shop. I'm just showing you guys how I set them up, and when I unlock a pro, and then also, I don't know how it goes, pro, legend, or superstar, legend three card. I'll show you guys how I set it up each each and every time I unlock a new level. And I wanted to start off with a basic uh, build, for a defenseman, I use a two-way defender. I think you get the best of both worlds. And I jump right into athleticism because I feel like that's going to set the tone for the rest of your attributes. So I, I put up strength and speed, get them the 70. You want a good base. Agility is 70 and balance is 70. Then endurance goes up. And I put the rest into speed and acceleration. And the reason I use agility and balance is because you have to make quick turns, especially on defense. A lot of it is recovery and managing behind the net and you have to make quick turns to block those passes across the crease so I feel agility for a defenseman is a very underrated attribute so now we go into defense and the most important clearly is stick checking in the defensive uh, category and also you have to look out for defensive awareness I put that up to 70 fighting because I want to fight in this game but defensive awareness, I jack up to 73, and discipline. Discipline is very important because if you're going to try and take away the passing lanes with poke checks, you also don't want to be called for tripping. I mean, that's just the reality. So jack up that discipline. So now we go into offense, puck control, passing, awareness. That is your trinity as a defenseman for the two-way defender because in sixes, Let's be honest, the wingers don't really utilize the defense as a, as a point position. And so you're not going to take a lot of shots. And so I don't, I put some points into slap shot accuracy and power, but not a lot. And now we're going to speed through where I edit my name and all that stuff. But that's just what I use. Uh, and passing is very important. You have to realize that you have to send the puck up to your forwards, and if you have a low passing passer rating, uh, chances are they're probably going to dump you because you're a scrub and you can't pass. So make sure you do that. And here we go. We're going to go in the defense, and I think right about now comes the speed of trying to just jump through all this clutter that I do. Yeah, and here we go. Simple Sully's my name, and over this I want to talk real briefly about the height because I've heard mixed things. Um, I, as a defenseman, if you're going to set up your guy, lean more towards the smaller, you know, I have him at six foot one. And I think that's fair because you have to realize wingers and forwards in this game will usually make their guy small. And so if you go big, I don't care what your stats are. Chances are, they're probably just going to go around you. So I set him at six foot one. I think that's a nice build because, or that's a nice give because you're not, you're not terribly slow. And you can you can skate with the forwards, but you're not a midget. So I like the six foot one. I think that's a good good balance of height and size. So I set up my visor, yada yada yada. No one cares. And now we're gonna jump back into normal speed. And simple Sully needs a simple ice hockey stick. And so I, I fool with like I was looking at different sticks, but I settle on the classic, the retro. There it is, the retro stick. And you want to see what I do with my the way I have my settings for my stick. I have a regular flex just because, you know, you never know what you're going to need. And I don't have any wrist shot power, nor do I have a lot of slap shot power. And so regular flex, you get everything. And I lean with slightly open because I, I think this year it's harder to snipe the corners in NHL 14. It's not as easy as it was last year. And so you need accuracy because if you don't, you're going to be shooting that puck all over the net and then you're going to be a scrub and then your teammates are going to have that meeting where we're like, we need to talk. And then lo and behold, you're off the team looking for a new one. So try and put accuracy. If you're not going to put accuracy in your stats, try and put it in your stick. And then lastly, I go with my skates. I, I believe I go with the Nexus as I it's like shopping at a mall man so many decisions I don't know I you know, you I like to try them on I like to skate around see if they look good on me and I'm not gonna lie the, the ones with the orange I know the Nexus those are my skates but those orange at the bottom left I might I might check those suckers out later but nonetheless I lean with I think I go with the middle of the pack yeah because you need agility but you also need acceleration and speed and here I pick my my gloves which really don't do anything but if you guys really want to see them i think i go with the 
Warrior just because I like the name and they look cool. So there you guys have it. That's my Simple Sully Defense Build Amateur and I get the Retro Bucket. And as soon as I pick, pick it, there we go, the Retro Bucket. I'm sorry guys, this wasn't a live recording. I probably should do this live because it would make things easier. But there I go, the Retro Bucket, Simple Sully. Not a complex guy, just out there wanting to shoot the old puck, playing the great Northern game. And I still, look at me, I'm still choosing. I finally click on it. And there you guys have it. There's my amateur build. And I hope you guys are enjoying Hut. Uh, if you want me to cover more things here, I'm just setting the jersey tuck and all that stuff. But if you guys want me to go over center, right winger, and do every position each step of the way with the builds, then let me know. Please leave a comment because uh, I think, you know, pushing information, the right information to help you guys with your builds. If you want to be a sniper or whatever have you, I can help you with that. Leave your comment down below. And I hope this was informative. I tried to give a realistic expectation of where you want to put your stats for a defenseman. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm out. Peace.